In the midst of freezing cold temperatures, thousands of workers from throughout Belgium took to the streets of Brussels demanding a cap on soaring energy prices, higher wages, and more bargaining power for trade unions. So people are here today because they cannot pay their bills anymore. The prices are going up uh, everywhere and in everything, especially energy prices, and uh, we cannot go on anymore. So we are fighting today uh, to have better wages, to have uh, so that the prices can be controlled by the government and limited to a certain point, because right now it's very difficult uh, to finish the months. The mobilization organized by the Socialist General Labour Federation of Belgium, the Confederation of Christian Trade Unions, and the General Confederation of Liberal Trade Unions of Belgium was the latest action in an ongoing struggle over the rising cost of living. We are here for more money, so that energy will be payable for everyone that the wages are put up so that they know that we don't agree with their management. Protesters also took action to demand an end to the 1996 Wage Margin Act, which severely restricts union ability to negotiate better wages. If we are here today, it's mainly for the power of choice. The Belgian regulation and the law to negotiate the salaries today ce qu'on appelle la loi de 96, parce que c'est une loi qui date de 1996. Mais surtout aujourd'hui, on se rend compte de plus en plus de personnes en Belgique n'ont plus les moyens de, 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 de payer l'énergie, de payer le chauffage et, et meurent de froid chez eux. Donc ce n'est plus tenable, ce n'est plus acceptable. Il faut vraiment que le gouvernement nous donne des moyens et nous donne euh, une marche pour renégocier les salaires et pour les salaires à la hausse. Beton, de réhérir. Alle pensioenen, ons euh, loon euh, zakt, alle prijzen omhoog, de elektriciteit, de gas, allemaal omhoog. Wij moeten betogen vandaag. So we want to, first of all, to increase wages, so that the unionists uh, can negotiate freely the wages of the people uh, without the government involvement. And secondly, we want the prices of energy to be limited to a certain point. And also we want to tax the, the profits of the multinationals, of energy multinationals. Uh, they, have, they make a lot of benefits and they also need to participate in society and help the workers. Due to the action, there was significant disruption of public transit, with only one tram running in Brussels and 60% reduced air traffic at Brussels main airport. The action highlighted the increased financial burden felt by Belgian workers. Inflation in Belgium is rising higher than the EU average. Energy prices in Belgium have been increasing more than in neighboring countries. According to the VREG, in May 2020, the average price for electricity was 848 euros and seven cents per year. And for natural gas, 926 euros and 88 cents. In September 2022, the price for electricity was 3,257 euros per year. And for natural gas, 8,103 euros per year. This coincides with a sharp increase in supermarket prices. Enfin, ce qu'on exige vraiment du gouvernement, c'est qu'ils mettent tout en place pour qu'au minimum, enfin, qu'au niveau européen, on bloque les prix de l'énergie. Et à tout le moins, s'ils n'arrivent pas au niveau européen, qu'ils le fassent en Belgique, quoi que ça en coûte. Belgium has a system of wage indexation, guaranteeing that if the cost of living goes up, salaries, pensions, and benefits also increase. Unions argue that the next indexation in January does not address the rise in fuel and energy prices, which have led to a decrease in worker purchasing power. Since like about a year, uh, electricity prices and gas prices uh, are going up uh, almost each month. So every time we think the prices uh, have reached a new, uh, a new threshold, they go up again and we cannot go on anymore. So we, re we really need the government to, to hear the working class, to hear the people uh, that they cannot pay their bills anymore and the wages are too low. The action is the latest in a strike wave that included a national strike and a three-day rail strike in November after multiple large strikes in 2022. This is the latest action of a long campaign uh, regarding the purchasing power in Belgium. We had a national strike in November. We had another uh, national uh, manifestation strike in September. So every other month, more or less, we continue the actions. 
With inflation increasing and energy prices rising due to the Ukraine war, the demonstration is likely a preview of actions to come in Belgium. Uh, because we don't feel hurt by the government, uh, we don't feel hurt by the bosses of the companies. And as long as we feel that it's necessary to continue the actions, we will continue. And as long as people are going poorer while the bosses are getting richer, then we will continue the actions.